A lot of people struggle with self-improvement. And I think a big part of the reason why is because people are impatient, okay? People have developed this instant gratification mindset from social media, from PMO, from a lot of different things. You know, it's the lifestyle nowadays. People are addicted to instant gratification and they expect to transform their lives overnight. And that's not how this works. Self-improvement is a marathon, not a sprint. I'll say that again for those of you who didn't catch it. Self-improvement is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, it's all about the way that you pace yourself. While it is possible to create significant change in your life overnight, you shouldn't expect that. Okay, you shouldn't expect that and you shouldn't really strive for that unless you're in a situation that requires it. In which case, the motivation of that situation alone will probably be enough. But if you're doing it for the sake of you, you know, to enhance your overall experience, you need to learn to pace yourself. You need to learn to take things day by day, okay? It's not about the change that you can make in one day or even one week or even one month. It's about the change that you can make over the course of years, okay, decades, how you can become the best version of yourself. In fact, you shouldn't even be striving for that because you should always be trying to improve your life in some way or another. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't be grateful for where you are and who you are. You should still appreciate and love yourself through every step of the journey. But you need to understand that great change is created through the small change. Your life is nothing more than a bunch of days and your days are nothing more than a bunch of habits. So you need to focus on these small habits every day that will create significant change. You need to focus on leveling up yourself every day as opposed to becoming the best version of yourself overnight. So, you know, day by day, focus on leveling up. And in this video, I'm going to give you the formula that I've personally used to level up my life. I'm gonna share with you some of the habits that I use to better myself on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? And like I said, you may not see significant results in the first day or the first week or even the first month, but over time, especially if you track your progress like I did, you'll be able to look back and see how far you've come. So with that being said, the first thing that you can do to transform your life is start waking up earlier. Okay, this right here is a game changer. And the reason why is because it gives you a greater sense of control over your day. Okay, the way that you start your day usually will carry over throughout the rest of your day. And I've definitely noticed that within myself. You know, for a period of time around quarantine, maybe in like April, for about three weeks, I was waking up at six o'clock in the morning every day. Did I have to do that? No, I didn't. But by waking up that early, I was able to generate some momentum for the rest of my day in terms of being disciplined. And basically every time I would do that, I would finish all of my work by like noon. I'd always work out. I would never miss a workout session. You know, I was extremely disciplined. It carried through the rest of my day. This is why in the military, they have you wake up at like four or five in the morning. It's because they're trying to instill discipline within you. And this is probably the strongest way to do that. Okay, when you start waking up early, even on weekends, mind you, even on weekends, every single day you wake up earlier. You don't have to wake up before the sun comes up. You know, I wake up at 10 in the morning, but just wake up early enough to where it's a little bit uncomfortable for you. And you know, when that alarm goes off, don't hit the snooze button. Wake up, like wake up and get up out of bed. What I've personally been doing, I sleep on the floor, I keep my phone, which is my alarm clock, on the other side of the room. So when my alarm goes off in the morning, I have to get up, stand up, walk over to my phone, and turn the alarm off. And by that point, I'm up. Okay, so do whatever you have to do, but start waking up early, because I promise you, it is going to carry over to the rest of your day and create a snowball effect that you'll be able to build on with these other habits. Now, with that being said, the next habit that you can implement into your life to transform your life is stop getting on your phone right after you wake up. Okay, for me personally, there was a time where I would wake up, get on my phone, and literally be on my phone for hours at a time. Okay, I might wake up at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, but I don't get out of bed until one or two in the afternoon because I'm on my phone. And that is terrible, okay? Because now you've killed all of the momentum that you've generated for yourself by waking up earlier. And you know, if you wake up late and do this, now half of your day is gone. So stop, okay? Just stop getting on your phone right after you wake up. It's bad for your mental health too. 
because you know when you wake up and your mind is more fresh you're more vulnerable to the energy that you come across on your phone and you know this especially applies if you're on social media if you wake up and the first thing you do is you get on twitter and you consume the toxicity on that app is going to greatly influence the way that you think for the rest of your day and like i said life is nothing more than your days okay it's a bunch of different days so when you develop that habit and it affects the way that you go about each and every day it's going to change the way that you live your life instead of doing this when you wake up try meditating you know use that sense of purity that you have when you wake up that calmness of the morning to meditate and truly get in tune with yourself for the day you know instead of consuming information from outside of yourself allow yourself to look within and be present with your thoughts meditation is a very very effective exercise for your mental your spiritual and even your physical health because it's a great grounding tool you know it's a grounding exercise it brings you back to the moment which is where life is experienced you don't experience life in the past or the future those are simply constructs of the mind you live in the here and now this is where your soul resides so allow yourself to be present in the moment by meditating okay meditation is not as complex as a lot of people make it out to be you don't have to meditate on anything particular you don't have to achieve mental clarity you don't have to do anything like that all you have to do is sit there for a few minutes however long it takes you and just be present with your thoughts allow yourself to disassociate from your identity from all of your problems and just be there with your thoughts and give yourself that validation that you need and maybe even take some time to think about the things that you're grateful for and also visualize realities that would give you more opportunities to feel grateful now speaking of gratitude the next habit that you can implement to change your life is gratitude journaling okay start a gratitude journal start a gratitude journal you don't have to get that exact one but I will have the link in the description if you're interested in that one. It's pretty cheap. But basically, when you wake up and you meditate and your vibration is high and you feel calm and relaxed, take some time to acknowledge the things that you are grateful for. Okay, acknowledge the things that you are grateful for, not only in thought, but in writing. Okay, write them, read them, even speak them out because it's going to reinforce a mindset of gratitude to your subconscious mind. And this habit is going to change the way that you go about your day. You're going to find more pleasure in the little things in life. And as you adopt this mindset throughout your days, you're going to adopt this mindset throughout your life. And you're going to become a magnet for abundance. Take some time to acknowledge the things that you are grateful for. Because a lot of the things in your life, there was probably a point when you wished that you had that thing. And if not, then there's definitely somebody else out there who wishes that they were living your exact life right now. Okay, you are living somebody else's dream life. I don't care how bad you think you have it. You have it better than somebody else out there. Just the fact that you're able to sit here and watch this video, the fact that you have access to the internet and you can watch this video, that tells me that you are living somebody else's dream life. Take some time to feel grateful. Take some time to acknowledge. Even if you can't fully allow yourself to feel that feeling just yet, at least take some time to acknowledge these things that you feel like you should be grateful for. Now, right along with gratitude journaling comes affirmations. Now, in that particular gratitude journal, it does leave a space for affirmations, okay? Writing your affirmations down or even speaking them aloud is definitely a great way to tap into the subconscious mind. And when you make a habit out of doing this, that energy becomes a lot more potent. And that's where you speak things into existence. That's where your manifestations start to manifest themselves into reality it's all about reinforcing these ideas to your subconscious mind okay you want to get these ideas into your subconscious and like i said with this gratitude journal you can do that and no this video is not sponsored but with this gratitude journal you can do that you can do your affirmations you can acknowledge the things that you're grateful for or you know you can do this in a regular journal or on a piece of paper however you need to do it just do it okay do it for 30 days do it for a year and see how far you get in life i promise you that right there is largely responsible for all of my success on youtube the next habit that you can implement into your life to transform yourself and your state of being is cold showers okay 
This right here is a very good compliment to waking up earlier, especially now that it's getting colder outside. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, those cold showers hit entirely different now. Okay, when it's 40 degrees outside, the last thing that you wanna do is get into some cold water. So what should you do? You should do that because now you've woken up early. Okay, that's one thing that was uncomfortable and you did it. Two, you resisted that urge to get on your phone. That's another way that you were able to overcome that urge for instant gratification. And now you're hopping in a cold shower, which is gonna give you a lot of energy physically, but also mentally, because you know that you've now done three things that will reinforce that mindset of discipline. And like I said, you may not see significant results in the first day or even the first week, but if you keep doing these things and you remain consistent with them, you will see significant change in your mindset and thus your outer world.